Hello everyone, this is Carol Chan Pennington. Today I'm going to review a movie uh, based on Agatha Christie's 1949 novel. And uh, the set is um, at the time era, shortly after World War II. And the movie title is Cricket House. So you can imagine uh, with this title, what's going to happen, and uh, it's about the death of a wealthy entrepreneur, um, Aristide Leonidas. The Leonidas family is a bunch of uh, cricket people. I guess that comes down to the essence of this story. The director is Gilles Parquet Brenner, and I think she's very good at lighting. The director uh, take it slightly different other than what I'm familiar with, like Poirot and Sherlock Holmes, you know, very close up uh, shots. And this has more bird's eye view and um, a couple of uh, extreme warm's eye view. So a little different, I think this is a take on a, a bigger picture. This is not like the other uh, mysteries focus on the detectives. I don't think so. It gives so much broad view of a sh many shots. And so the detective uh, himself is just a part of the characters, not the focus. There are very good uh, actors in it, like uh, Glenn Close. She is the sister of uh, the uh, that guy who is in his 80s. And also Max Irons. He's the private uh, detective, uh, Charles Hayward. Charles um, used to be a lover of one of the uh, oldest uh, granddaughter of the, the dead man. Um, her name is Sophia, uh, played by Stephanie Martini. There's another teenage boy and a young girl named Josephine. They're um, all three grandkids of the old man. And another important character is uh, named Brenda. She is the young, very young wife of the dead man, uh, like 50 years younger. Um, so she, of course, is very excluded from the family. Understandable, within a wealthy family, came with this young woman who used to be a dancer and got all the attention from the uh, old man. So that's basically the structure. Very interestingly, is the um, the trailer itself. And the, the trailer start with a rifle shot and end with Glenn Close with a rifle pointing on the camera. And close to the end, before you see Glenn Close, you see um, uh, explosion. So it's pretty exciting look like, very dramatic thing. But the movie itself, to me, it's more mellow and slow. So, very interesting uh, trailer uh, editing. As I mentioned before, this is not like many other mystery focus on the detective uh, himself because um, he seems to be struggling to be professional. <laughs> so, um, but the the thing is, um, like many mystery or, or Christie's mystery, you don't know anything until the end. The private detective is the same thing. He's just one of us, the audience. So I think that's a very interesting way of ending. And uh, if you like mystery and you want to see a different flavor of mystery, this is a good one to check it out. Thank you so much for listening, and you have a good one. Bye-bye now.